Hello friends, many of us who works on Android projects upgrade the Android Studio as and when we get the latest Android Studio updates to get benefited with the latest features and plugins. But what if we realized that we should not be using the latest Android Studio version and by mistakenly we have updated it or we wanted it to be downgraded to the older version or to the specific version because of project or client requirements then this video is for you. In this video, I am going to show you how to downgrade Android Studio version without uninstalling the latest one. And also I will show you how to revert the project files upgraded to the latest version. Okay, let's start the video. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. Okay, currently I am using Android Studio Flamingo version. My project is completely working fine. Build is successful and I could run my project on emulator without any errors. So when we see the project's Gradle and plugin versions, they are upgraded to the latest versions. So now let's see how to downgrade the Android Studio to the older version. First close the Android Studio, open browser and search for install Android Studio. Click on this first link. From this page, we can download the latest stable version of Android Studio. Currently it is Flamingo. So I already have this version in my Mac. Here I wanted the older version. For that click on read release notes. Come down. See here if your project is not supported by a specific version of Android Studio, you can still open and update your project using an older version of Android Studio. So click here. Agree to the terms. It opens Android Studio download archives. Here you can find all the release archives. This download archives link I will give in the description box for your reference. See here uh, Giraffe, Hedgehog, Beta and Canary versions also available. But we wanted older versions. So come down. Flamingo's previous version is Electric Eel. We can download this or still older version means go down. See Dolphin version is available. Let's download this. Don't download beta and canary versions. Download stable or patch versions. See here the installer available for all the computer OS versions. I am using Mac so I have to download any of these two. But to confirm which one to download, go to Apple icon and click on about this Mac. Here the chip name is Apple M1. So I have to download Mac for Apple Silicon version. Click on this. If nothing is happening, then right click and open in new tab. Okay, download started. Download completed. See, this is the installer for Android Studio Dolphin version. Double click on this. This process you would already be knowing. Drag the file into applications. Because I already have the Flamingo version, it is asking me whether to replace or keep both the versions. First let me select keep both. Later I will show you what happens when you replace. Ok, copied the Android Dolphin into applications. Now go to the applications folder. See both the Android Studio versions are available. The latest installed version is named as Android Studio 2. Ok, let's open this. It is asking for the permission. Click on open. Now selecting the uh, same project which was working fine in the Flamingo version. Let's see if any errors appear. Ok, first warning. Could not find the required Java SDK. And there is a Gradle Sync issue. Project is using incompatible version of AGP using 8.0.1 instead of 7.3.0. How to fix this issue? I already explained in one of my Android Studio error videos. We have to use Gradle and plugin versions compatible to the Android Studio version. In this page, we can find compatible Gradle plugin for the Android Studio. So, for the Dolphin version, we have to use plugin version 7.3. Go to Project, click on Settings, Project Structure, Change the plugin version to 7.3 and we need to change the Gradle version also. For that go up, 
Here we can find the required Gradle version to the plugin version 7.3 that is 7.4. Come back, change Gradle version to 7.4. Apply changes. Sync is in progress. Ok, sync successful. Rebuild the project. Build also successful. So that means on reverting the Android Studio to the older version, we can just change the Gradle and plugin versions and start working on the project. See here I can keep both the Android Studio versions. But always make sure using the same Android Studio version for one project to avoid Gradle sync errors. Ok, now let me show you where these two Android versions are kept. Go to Home, Library, Application Support, Google. See here both the versions are available. If you want to delete one, you can delete from here. And you can also watch my video how to uninstall Android Studio completely on Mac to uninstall the Android Studio. Ok, I deleted Dolphin version from my Mac. So now only Flamingo version is available. Now let me show you how to replace the latest Android Studio with the older version. Click on this DMG file. Drag to the application folder. Here click on replace now. Ok, copied successfully. Go to applications folder. See only one version of Android Studio is there. Because I replaced the Android Studio with the older version. Double click to open. Click on open here. Dolphin version is loading. Ok, the same sync error appeared related to AGP version. Change the Gradle and plugin versions. This already we have done. Sync is successful. Rebuild the project and check. Build is also successful without any errors. So this way we can downgrade the Android Studio successfully. But what if you want to know the changes to project files and you want to revert the changes? You can check in the local history. Select app, right click, go to local history and select show history. Here you can see the list of changes or else go to project view and check the history for only sources and resource files by selecting main directory. See here zero files changed because I haven't changed anything in the source files when upgrading or downgrading my Android Studio. Check for Gradle directory. See these are the changes. Upgrade AGP version from 7.3.0 to 7.4.2. Open Gradle wrapper.properties file. So this change was applied. This is the base version and this is local file. You can revert the file on clicking this arrow. Same way you can check the build.gradle file for changes and also you can revert them. This local history is not a replacement for a proper version control for long term versioning but you can at least check the recent changes and revert them and also you can restore deleted files. If you want to know more about this topic leave a comment so that I will do a separate video on this local history usage. Hope you understood how to downgrade the Android Studio by installing the Android Studio archives. If this video was helpful for you please like the video, comment and subscribe to IREKA Tech Solutions. Thank you.